In this video, I'll show you numerous conversion problems and I'll solve them using dimensional analysis. Here we have a table where we're asked to convert among three units, millimeters, meters, and centimeters. We'll complete the table row by row. First, we need to convert 99.4 millimeters to meters and also to centimeters. I'll begin by writing the conversion factor between millimeters and a meter. There's a thousand millimeters in one meter. Then I'll proceed in setting up a problem using dimensional analysis. So we begin by multiplying the given information, 99.4 millimeters, multiply that by the conversion factor, one meter over a thousand millimeters. And the millimeter is in the denominator because the millimeter unit needs to cancel. After that, we complete the math on the numbers, 99.4 divided by a thousand, which is 0 .0994 meters. Next, I'll convert millimeters to centimeters. The conversion factor between millimeters and centimeters is 10 millimeters and 1 centimeter. The dimensional analysis setup for this is 99.4 millimeters, the given information, times the conversion factor, 1 centimeter over 10 millimeters. The millimeter units cancel and the math on the numbers is 99.4 divided by 10, which is 9.94 centimeters. Now we'll complete the next row. Here we begin with 13.1 meters, and we need to convert that number to millimeters and to centimeters. So I'll begin by rewriting the conversion factor between millimeters and a meter. So the setup here is 13.1 meters multiplied by the conversion factor 1,000 millimeters over 1 meter. We need the meter unit in the denominator of the conversion factor because we need to cancel out the meter unit. Once that's complete, we can Next, do the math on the numbers, which is 13.1 times 1,000, which is 13,100 millimeters. Now we'll convert 13.1 meters to centimeters using the conversion factor 100 centimeters is 1 meter. We begin with 13.1 meters times the conversion factor 100 centimeters over 1 meter and the meter unit cancels and the math on the numbers gives us 1310 centimeters. And finally we'll complete the last row. We'll convert 65.5 centimeters to meters and then to millimeters. So we begin 65.5 centimeters times the conversion factor 1 meter over 100 centimeters. Following the dimensional analysis, we cancel out the centimeters and then we divide 65.5 by 100 to give an answer of 0.655 meters. Then we multiply 65.5 centimeters times the conversion factor 10 millimeters over 1 centimeter and that gives us 655 millimeters. In this video, I'll complete English to metric and metric to English conversion problems. A particular nickel weighs 5.3 grams. Calculate the weight of the nickel in pounds. First we begin with the knowledge that 454 grams equals one pound. 
That's our conversion factor for this problem. Setting up the problem using dimensional analysis, 5.3 grams is our given information, and the conversion factor as a fraction is one pound over 454 grams. The grams cancel, and the math on the numbers is 5.3 divided by 454, which is 0 .0117 pounds. In the next problem, we need to convert 2.5 grams to ounces. The conversion factor for this problem is 454 grams equals 16 ounces. And the setup using dimensional analysis is 2.5 grams, the given information, times the conversion factor 16 ounces over 454 grams. After the grams cancel, the math on the numbers, 2.5 times 16 divided by 454 equals 0 .0881 ounces. And finally, we need to convert 2.38 times 10 to the minus 2 meters to feet. In this case, we're going to use the conversion factor 1 meter equals 3.28 feet. Again, using dimensional analysis, we begin with 2.38 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Multiply that by the conversion factor, 3.28 feet over 1 meter, which gives us an answer of 0 0.0781 feet.